This is the Inadro Home Invader Freshwater Streamer. For this fly, we're going to be focusing on a mix of Anadromous Brush and a 2.5 inch in purple, along with some EP Sparkle Fiber to make the streamer really flash and move in the water. We're going to be starting with a size 4 streamer hook, and we're going to be adding some lead wire here to add a little bit of weight. We don't need to cover the entire shank, probably just about the front quarter of it. And make sure you leave yourself a little bit of room in the front for the tie-in later. And then we're going to lock that wire in place, a little bit of head cements, and building a nice thread dam on top of it. And then we're going to be adding in our dumbbell eye. And a great starting tip is if you line this up on the top of the hook shank, do a couple wraps and ease it into place, it works a whole lot better. And then we're going to be over the top using an X with our thread, and then using a figure eight underneath to really lock everything in and make sure it's not moving on us. And then move your thread back to about the halfway mark of the hook shank, and we're going to be adding in our EP Sparkle Fibers. Now Sparkle Fibers are a little bit softer, and they move a little bit better in the water than traditional flash. And tying this in with a marabou, it makes it blend really well when it's wet. And then we're going to be measuring and tying our marabou. And with the marabou, you want a lot of bulk in this fly. And don't be afraid of adding a couple extra pieces of marabou if you need to. And once we get that locked in and evened out, we're going to be tying in our brush. And before you start wrapping, make sure you get your thread all the way in front of the eyes, because we're going to be tying that in front. And then we're going to do a couple wrap over the dumbbells before we lock the wire in place. And it's difficult using these brushes because you can get a lot of fibers caught underneath your wraps. So it's going to take a lot of brushing out after we get everything locked in to make this thing look a whole lot better than it does right now. Using a stiff fire brush and a bobkin, you can get most of the fibers pulled out, but it takes a little work. Next, we're going to turn the fly over and we're going to be tying in a pretty significant amount of crystal flash. I've taken about four or five full pieces here and cut that in half and then bent that over again around our thread to tie in. And I've already pre-selected my hackle feathers here. I've also trimmed them to length and created a little taper section to tie in. You can use different size hackle on this if you want to. It's all kind of personal preference of how much you like showing. I like a little more streamlined look, so I'm using the skinnier strip of hackle.
and then I'm working in some UV resin here on the front to even it out and to lock everything down. And then make sure you work these fibers out again and brush everything smooth. It does take a little patience with this fly because there's a lot of different fibers you're adding even though they're fairly basic. And there you have it, the Anadra Home Invader. And this thing looks awesome when it's wet too.